Nah, I, uh, I don't, I wasn't down there, but I watched it on TV. Uh, last time out, cracking performance, mate. Four round KO over um, Thomas Ben Bendover, was it? Bendover, <laughs> I think. Ben, yeah. yeah, something like that. I used to watch Bendover video. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> but uh, no, uh, end of the second round, he threw an absolute peach of a shot. And. Uh, when you talk about being saved by the bell, he was, wasn't he? Yeah, just caught him right on the button. Right hook, okay, yeah. Yeah, he were gone after that, but fair play to him. He, uh, he got back up and couldn't he look is, at me he's like. A, he's a high unit, isn't he? Yeah, he's, yeah, man, he's, only, he's only short, but he's a stocky bastard, isn't he? Yeah, but um, okay, no, gave you, something I needed. Gave you a few good rounds, yeah, that's um, but I think your class showed, and I think that was your third stoppage on the bounce as well, mate. Yeah, I think so. It's, um, power's coming now. Just picking my shots a little bit better. And so then still loves the work on that. But. Well, I'm down here because Jack's a uh, uh, big fight has been announced for him. So uh, he helped you get ready for your, for your last fight. Uh, you're helping him now prepare for this fight. And uh, which is also preparing you because about, we're not sure exactly of the date, but I think it's any time between eight and 10 weeks from now. You're back out on the fight zone um, show again, is that going to be in Sheffield? Possibly, yeah. I think the 27th, that's the Sheffield show. I don't know about putting me on that, or maybe the 13th, so I'm in the gym ready now. It's an helping Jack get ready for his, so. That's going to be Dave Allen's return, isn't it? I don't know. I think it is. That's what you're I'm sure it was the 27th, he was announced that he's returning on the uh, fight zone stage. Oh, I wouldn't know, so. If what, it is, then they, uh, what have they said for you then? What 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 is this fight going to be? Because the week after your fight, there was a, another great um, English title fight for the central uh, English title fight, super middleweight, Charlie Schofield, Mickey Ellison, yeah, and uh, Charlie Schofield won. Yeah, he looked very good doing it. Yeah, he did. I thought, he, like you said before, he boxed. Um, he showed something he's not really showed before in sixteen previous fights. Yeah, so he boxed. Uh, he boxed really well. I thought. So, yeah. Is that, is that a fight that might be being made further down the line? Possibly, I don't know if it's going to be. So I don't know if it's going to be in the next year or so, but obviously, if he's the English champion, then uh, Yeah, of course, yeah. That's, uh, that's why I'm in the, in the game to win some titles and do well. So what's this fight going to be next then? Probably, possibly like one of them international ones, maybe an IBF, uh, WBC junior one. Something like that. So, if it's one oh, of them. Oh, you're so eligible for that, because it, isn't it the, the World Youth and all that? Is that yeah. got to be under 24, is it? Yeah, so that's what they're saying. So, if it's that, it's that. If it's something else, it's something else. I'll just listen, I've got a good team here. Mick and Dave, my coach, and Kev with the managers, and then obviously Dennis and Jason and that, they sort of out with the fight zone. Because so. you're one of the lucky few, aren't you? you? You've actually signed a contract with them, so you're. Class is a home fighter now. I think they're looking to build a stable around about 35 fighters, and you're one of about 26 that have signed up now. On a, I think they signed about 26. Well, that's what I was talking oh, to uh, Jason, and right. that's what he was telling yeah. me. So um, I presume they've got high hopes for you, yeah. especially after that performance last time. Yeah, like I said, I'll just keep doing my job, and they'll, they'll do their job, hopefully, get me the fights, build me up to a uh, to do well in the, in the spot, I suppose. Well, I, I've just been watching here, and you've just been working on things for Jack for this guy. Um, do you know much about Jack's opponent? <sighs> I've seen him against Canelo, but like you said, how much can you take from that? No, it's a little bit unfair to so, judge yeah, anyone. Definitely, but um, yeah, he's a uh, he's a good he's a good count. He'll block both comes out with big shots, but he um, he's there to be it, and Jack's. Gets the right game plan. I think he can outbox him. Not easy, but easy enough to. Uh, what, what's your take up. on Jack at present? Because he seems to be in the best form of his life uh, since the, the Doherty win. He's, he stayed in the gym. He stayed on weight, and he he's, he stayed ticking over, making sure he's ready yeah. for an opportunity like this. Yeah, well, he's been um, he's been in the gym all the time, and he's, this is the youngest I've ever seen him. After his training, he's doing extra training. His pull-ups, he's doing, he's doing everything more. 
than in these two really. That's is this good for you? Is. Because you're, you're one of the players who, who, who like Jack all the time at present. You know, you for the last four years you've been in the gym. Uh, even if you're the only person in the gym, you're the yeah. guy who's in there. Yeah. And obviously, as we can just said before, three stoppage on the bounce, it's paying off. You've got your man strength now, you're getting that confidence, you picked up your first title, what yeah. was it, two fights ago, that wasn't yeah. it? Um, is there any sign that you might get a chance to defend that central area? No, I, I think I think from what Kev's saying, he's saying you just I maybe, vacate. maybe vacate that, yeah. And hopefully try and look on. Listen, obviously, I was over the main to win the central area, but obviously levels to boxing, and then I don't, I don't want to stick around without sounding disrespectful to that level, but I, I want to move on from that. So. Well, what are you now? You just ranked outside the top 10 in the super middleweight division? I think so, yeah. I mean, it, I'm not too bothered where I'm ranked at, I just do my job. Yeah, but those yeah. rankings give you opportunities, don't they? Yeah, like you said, getting the top 10, thing this title or British title comes up then. Is that the plan then for 2022 to break into that top 10 and maybe even get a crack at the British or some other yeah. major title? Yeah, definitely. I know I'm top 10 now, doesn't matter what the rankings say, but uh, I just, like I said, just keep winning. And if I get that big fight, I get that big fight, but if they want to build me up, build me up, up to a different way, I don't know what they're going to do. You're, you're to arguably me. one of the youngest talent in it, I think people are only you. I think Zach Telly's fairly young, isn't he? But you, you've got to be one of the youngest of the bunch that are in that top 15. Yeah, like I said, still young, still still improving in the gym. That's why I'm in the gym all the time. Even if I've not got a fight, I'm just try and get a better. Just yeah, well, try and just get a can do really, innit? He's working, mate. Definitely yeah, working. Yeah, let's so, keep trying, anyway. Uh, good luck. We'll catch up with you nearer the time, like yeah, I say. It's uh, either eight or ten weeks' time. You know, on the fight zone again. Uh, but cracking performance last time. And like I say, I think uh, a real dark horse. Hopefully. <laughs> nah, Thank you, Lee. Take care, mate. Cheers, mate. For all boxing, info, news, and latest interviews, amateur and pro across the north, click and subscribe. VIP boxing promotions. Also, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook.